And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Undying Combat. So I decided to call this deck. Um, this is a, a deck that's kind of going around right now. It's that's uh, seeing some play as uh, like a response to some of the control decks in the format um, where we also have an, an easy to build deck with no champions. That's right, no champions. So if you want a, um, you know, kind of a budget deck of sorts. Here we go, no champions. There are f six epics, it looks like. These three top end cards and the three undyings are also epics. So as far, you know, fairly easy to put together. Um, yeah, so basically what we're doing is we're, we're kind of playing like the undying and trying to kill the undying as much as possible and uh, basically just beat the opponent down with the undying. This is like the central card to the, uh, the deck. Um, I thought about calling it Undying Demacia, because, you know, like, we're an Undying deck with Demacia. Um, but I've just decided to call it uh, Combat instead, because single combat's a, a big part of our deck. Um, you know, letting, having the Undying fight other stuff, or just our other creatures fight stuff. Like, this is, like, the, one of the main reasons why we're playing Demacia. But then we're also playing On Guard to be able to give our, challenge, our allies Challenger, so we can give the Undying Challenger and have the undying die in, in combat with challenger uh be able to take stuff out so that's pretty awesome uh we get to draw extra cards with redeemer whenever we have allies die um and then uh, our other th real main reason to be playing demacia is radiant guardian because these kind of decks really struggle against other aggro decks because they can just outrace the undying pretty easily but radiant guardian is great against aggro so splashing demacia for radiant guardian gives us maybe the best uh, card in the game against aggro decks so it's a great card to to be able to go grab we have a tiana at the top end if we want to rally get some more attacks in um but uh yeah that's that's what our deck's all about let's uh oh stirred spirits this card looks pretty good too um that's an, another like new newish card to talk about this is great with the undying you know we get to give your support ally plus two plus zero and ephemeral so uh you make the undying even bigger so it races faster and is ephemeral so it'll die after it deals damage and then come back um so a bunch of pretty sweet stuff no let's see let's go with where do we want to go with garen's might i haven't used this one yet now yeah, we'll keep the minion no champions and we'll see how we can do without them Yeah, Purify. Um, yeah, Purify is probably very good against us, for sure. Rankler with the tier 3 sub. Y'all, let's get some hype for our tier 3 sub. Real Rankler, happy Monday. Thank you so much. Let's get these hype boats going. Um, anyway, our, our hand's pretty good. Yeah, hand's pretty good. We'll keep this. Alright, definitely like drawing the Radiant Guardian to be able to, you know, try to have some life gain. Normally, we'd want to lead with Curse Keeper. Almost always, we lead with Curse Keeper. But um, we're going to need to like play Curse Keeper and sacrifice Curse Keeper to have the 4-4 four -four deal with combat. I feel like if I would have played Curse Keeper here, then we'd have something that can't block, and they would go straight to combat. And that would be, that would be bad for me. So instead, we'll at least play the Stirred Spear, which can block. Let's fight this thing. Make a 4 4. Damn it! We need to do trading. We need to stay alive. Get to Radiant Guardian. Is 
staying alive. Staying alive. Yep, two radiant guardian. Staying alive. So we're not making the best. I'm not making the best value decisions. I'm making the best blocking and staying alive as long as possible decisions. So this turn, we would, we would like them to go straight to combat. We don't want them to play a bunch of other stuff. Because I want to... I want to play the Radiant Guardian this turn. Yep, come on. There we go. This is me going down to six. We can be dead before we get to attack. I mean, it's possible they can have six points of burn. But we're forcing them to have six points of burn within these two cards and this next card. Or at least they can just... They could just block with, like, the Poro and then kill the Poro. Yeah, they're just doing that. But that still takes up some of their burn. Yeah, we're doing the best not dying on turn 5 decisions. trouble now all they need is two points of burn to kill me yeah they do not have the two points of burn man so close oh <laughs> play down as a loss let's put this down as a win Unlocked. Platinum chest. Let's get some extra copies of cards. Oh wait, diamond chest, it upgraded. So we get even more shards 15s. All right, two epics. Tarkaz and Brightsteel. The tribeless formation. And now we're going to try to get another diamond chest. Even more shards. You know, the new set only going to have 120 cards. We're going to be able to unlock all those with shards pretty easily. Like, day one. So that's exciting. This Garen music seems pretty... pretty epic. Black Spear can kill Fiora. Balfies can get rid of a barrier. We have the Glimpse Beyond to sacrifice the Cursed Keeper. So our, our hand's doing stuff. It seems like this music's really loud, though. Does that seem like that to y'all? I don't know if that's just on my end or if that's on your end also. Seems like this this board and music is much louder than the other boards. But maybe that's just on my end. You're real hyped for the Lee Sin card and the Leona Diana combo. I don't even Are there have they started previewing some of the cards?
I don't even know what that means. Okay, they just said the names. Okay. Okay, so Deanna and Leona. Deanna is kind of a weird name. Or Diana. Oh, okay, okay it's just, it's Diana. Okay, that's not a weird name. Not Diana. Yeah. I like Diane more than Diana. So I, I waited till this turn to do the Ravenous Butcher so that we turned on Black Spear. And so like with this three mana, I'm planning on Black Spearing something. Uh, possibly Fiora. Possibly Fleet Feather Trekker. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I'll just Vile Feast this and then Stirred Spirits. Wait, I can't do both of those. Um, Diana and Leona are like the moon and the sun. That's pretty awesome. Okay. I like it. Sure. You know, trading Vile Feast for Barrier. That's basically the trade that always happens. Can you stomach this? They will make a combo control deck for sure. Mark my words. Okay. A combo control deck. Kind of like, like Ezreal combo control. Who does not know the name of wrong? Who doesn't know the name Laurel? It's possible they just pass back. And I just waste all this mana. That turns on a black spear. Oh, yeah, Alex Yud is making fun of me. They basically just use their repost to kill my curse, you know, this thing, you know, so they use like a four mana card to kill this. Zero remitter is a remitter is a play trigger. So Chronicler of Ruin on it wouldn't really make a lot of sense. 
but we can make some more 4-4s. Four Sweet. But does it sound like, is the, is the game music drowning me out? Like, is this board really loud or is that just my end? Nobody really said anything about that. Was that... It seems like, you know, like that's... That Garen music, while epic... On my end, it seems more a lot louder than the other music. Okay. It's, uh, it's, it's a little louder than the other ones, but y'all are saying it's, you can still hear me fine. Uh, what are we playing against? Karina Control. Well, let's get rid of Combat, Black Spear, look for things to sacrifice the Curse Keeper to. Alright, we get the Undying. I think I'm still gonna, you know, keep her on two, Undying on three. Maybe I want to just attack for seven immediately. Instead of play the Undying first. So that they can't play Brood Awakening next turn. Yeah, I like I like Remitter. I think that's a I like that card. Alright, well we know they're not going to play. You know, they're not going to play Brood Awakening right away, so I can play the Undying first. But honestly, maybe it's better just to play Redeemer. Just attack, because these are going to trade. They take four, and I Redeemer. I think that's good. I like that. Take another Undying. This should be a good matchup for us. Undying in particular should be strong in this matchup. Um, let's get our attacks in. Or Brood Awakening or anything like that. Progress day. Return. Ooh, Scar Maiden Reaver. That's pretty sweet. No, I mean, like you see there, for five mana, you get a 4 3 and a. Scar Maiden Reaver. Got some good stuff. And it gives our Undying plus one plus one. It can do some things. I mean, that, like, Remitter with Undying is, is very good, not only for, like, the regular reasons that we've been saying, but just... Uh, I do want to Vile Feast one of these, but... Then I don't get a spider. I don't want to just get a spider and not play the Cursed Keeper. But anyway, there's there's a lot of great five mana, uh, you know, followers, because, you know, it makes it a random follower from any region that costs five mana. There's a lot of great five mana ones with, you know, Radiant Guardian and everything. Alright, can't play. I can't play the Ravenous Butcher. I don't have room. So if we play the Ravenous Butcher, we don't get that Undying back.
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Raid yeah, Radiant Guardians, Jackpot. All all the Demacia ones are good, but yeah, especially Radiant Guardian and Silverwing Lancer. Both of those are just incredible. Yeah, you can get uh, You can get Averroes and Hearthguard. That's a great one to hit. Five is like a, a key it's a key number. Exactly, yeah, Remitter cannot exist in, if it was a paper game. That is true. So it looks like their strat is to keep me filled up with six things across the board. Keep me from playing anything. Yeah, so they're not they're not even killing these things. Doesn't make any sense to hit the reaver. I guess they they don't want to do one damage to anything else, because the reaver just regenerates. We obviously have this we have this game. Like there's there's not really anything they can they can do. This game is over. This is like our best matchup though, to be honest. damage, so that's a good number for them. Um, doing a Vile Feast. And Rasa. Now we get our undyings back, and GG's. But yeah, this is... Our deck is basically built to beat this Karina Control deck. Karina Control started getting popular, put up really good win rates. Then undying mid, you know, undying stuff. Uh, just too difficult for them to deal with. All right, that's a quick 3-0. I think Rasa is just a play trigger, so flickering a Rasa doesn't. Yeah, you know, it's not a summon; it's a play trigger. Our opponent's rated 2,000. That's the highest number I've seen. <clears throat> Dark and Timo. Sweet name, though. Um, Ash deck. Let's get rid of this. This. Two down right away. That's nice getting Cursed Keeper <clears throat> off of Warden's Prey.
Yeah, it is nice how we get to do this without any champs. That is true. You know, get to play a competitive deck with no champions. I honestly don't think we're going to win this game. <clears throat> it's already kind of hard for us to race against other other decks that are attacking, but then whenever you, you have, like, they have all the Frostbite stuff, their deck can outrace Cursed Keepers and Undyings. And that's basically all I got going on for me is Cursed Keepers and Undyings. So, I'm not too confident about this game. I think I, oh, that's, well, I mean, I guess we can't block it. I think I Chronicler the Cursed Keeper, not the Undying. Speaking of those, oh. Balthies is a good draw. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Let's just do this right now. I really don't know why they're not attack. I guess they don't want me to block with my 1-1. One -one. It's kind of weird not to attack. Scared to have stuff die. What does he want from me? Well, I, th I think I'd rather single combat the Undying, though, than single combat the Cursed Keeper. I think. Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. Trifarians. Watch. Learn. Hmm. Just take it. Yeah, still fine. You know, we traded for Elixir of Iron and pumped up our the Undying. This will be quick. Still traded one for one cards. But those are the kind of cards that can make this difficult for us. We just don't ever get to block. That's a good card. Oh. I don't have room to do this on the Undying. We don't have room for another thing. Maybe I need to sacrifice the spider. Or I just, just sacrifice the Cursed Keeper and get a 4-4 and just play Grenadier and just have the 4-4 and the Grenadier and just wait on Remitter. I feel like playing Remitter is the thing to do. Yeah, I think, I think we sacrifice the old Spider. On guard, that's gonna be a good card. Return. Okay, well, just a random 4 4. 
Yeah, I mean, they can just kill us. Well, yeah, yeah. All they need is a Frostbite card. Sweet, no Frostbite card. All they need was any Frostbite card and we were dead. This will put us to one. Not dead. Slots. Today we turn the tide of war. Lots of decisions. We're gonna do this, we get the 4-4. We won't get the extra Cursed Keeper, but whatever. We just turn that, just turning the Cursed Keeper into a 4-4. You know, we had, I could have uh, just destroyed the Redeemer, drawn another card. Um, the 4-4 four four, though. <clears throat> okay. So you're not going to get blocked. And then all of you are going to take stuff. We'll have this take this. This take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. I really need to clear their stuff so they, you know, because obviously I can't block very much stuff and we're at one. I really need to clear things. That's what we're doing right now. As is, everything will, will clear up. I think there's a, a less than 50% chance that we win this. Basically, if they have Ash, I lose. <clears throat> um, we have two Undyings that can come back. Don't think I have an atrocity in the deck. Do I want to get a five drop or a six drop? Probably a five drop. I think there's better five drops. No, stop getting this thing. So unstable. That's the five drop I wanted. Darn it. Ooh, it did not draw Ash. Sweet, no Ash, hopefully. Sure. 
will still just like frostbite this thing anyway, but. All right, attack with these first. And then this, 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 this. Attacking weakest to most powerful. I think we got this. Now I think we got it. That's the problem with putting cards that are not Ash, that are 5 plus power in your Babbling Beard deck. Which means you don't draw Ash. Alright, GG. 4 and 0. Oh. Surprised we won that one, but they didn't... They should not have attacked with the Ash like that turn that they did. They should have just sat back because then they had all those harsh wins. Like, that was really my my opponent's fault for not winning that. They they definitely could have won that. They went in with, like, that Ash attack, like, the one, you know, like, right before right before it uh, leveled up. And then, like, they had, like, harsh wins and stuff in hand. If they just don't make that attack, we lose. Yeah, I agree with you, Chris. This game's awesome. It's very refreshing and... All right, so final boss, 4-0, we have Karma Ezreal, probably the most popular deck in LOR. Do I want to keep both of these? Definitely want to keep Warden's Prey. Basically, do I want to keep Stirred Spirits? Yeah, I think so. Undying, Undying. No, I need the Undying. The Undying, nope. Final boss. <laughs> yeah. Damage happens left to right. That's something. That's something that can happen. Gotta. Gotta make sure you don't take lethal. Night. And this is where we draw the Undying. We have not drawn very well. Radiant Guardian, Ethereal Remitter, and Rasa is our last three cards. Really? And then Tiana. This is pretty bad. As you tell it, we can't even play any of these cards for the next two turns. These are pretty bad draws. Oh my gosh. Another card we just will never be able to play. If I must. We, we literally drew all of our top end. Drew it all. Both eights and nine. Like, how is that our last three draw steps? Eight drop, eight drop, nine drop. And then before that, five, five. Like, we don't have any more expensive cards than these. Oh, never mind. There is one atrocity. Okay, never mind. There is one card that costs more than five. Yep, that's our next most expensive card. Drew that one too. Let's go. Let's go remitter. Could be so much. Basically, I don't I don't want to rely on Radiant Guardian. Because they have like Will of Ionia and can bounce it and everything. Decent at 10 mana. But we're not at 10 mana yet. We got a long ways to go before that. <laughs> so I would have had Undying and then Atrocity just to sacrifice the Undying. But I guess we'll play the Sturd Spirits instead. Yeah. Dark Water Scourge is great against the aggro decks. There's not there's just not that much aggro 
running around, but it is good. It, like, this deck does need stuff against aggro, so yeah, Dark Water Scourge, if you're playing Ionia, it does make a lot of sense. Wow. Well, at least we ate up eight mana, I suppose. There's a plus. Resolve. Resolve. Yeah. That was pretty great. I no. I want more monks. Fast as wind, light as air. The main question is, do I just Tiana and attack again? I think that answer is no. I can atrocity. Well, let's see. If I if I Tiana attack again, they chump block Tiana with this thing. They're down to ten. I can glimpse beyond, or let's see, I could atrocity kill the monk and then play redeemer. Or I could glimpse beyond, play radiant guardian, but that's probably too late. This is too much damage. Try to set up Tiana for next turn. I know, yeah, we we're one mana short for Rasa. Yeah, that would have been nutty if we could have glimpsed beyond and then Rasa. Would... Alright, at least we got William out of their hand. I suppose. Oh, that would have been great to have this past turn. Looks like we're dead. Yoink. We are likely dead. Survive that and nothing else. Unfortunately, we just had, we drew, we drew as bad as you can possibly draw. We drew our, our five most expensive cards in a row, eight drop, eight drop, nine drop, six drop, and two fives before that. So that's 
two fives. Actually, six. Our six most ex expensive cards we drew in a row. Um, yeah, because we, we drew Remitter. I guess maybe it's just five. Like, one Remitter. Oh, no, we, yeah, because we drew the Guardian, too. So, yeah, two. So, yeah, re Remitter. Like, after we mulligan, we drew Remitter, Guardian, Atrocity, Rasa, Tiana, Ruination. So, our four most expensive cards and two five drops also the next most expensive card. So, six draws in a row were the six most expensive cards in our deck. And so, we just had nothing to do early. And... Uh, you know, we just spent so many turns doing absolutely nothing. So that was really unfortunate, but that's what it took for us to be defeated. That's what the final boss needed to do in order to defeat us. But yeah, pretty sweet deck here. Pretty sweet deck here with this Undying combat. Um, you know, the Undying was great. Being able to give it combat and everything was pretty cool. I liked Remitter. I liked Radiant Guardian. Um... We're all pretty fun deck to play. Um, okay, yeah, and uh, and you know, no champions. So if you want a deck that's easier to you know, easier to put together with no champions, then there you go. This this could work for you. This undying control. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, like always, please, and uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you're if you picked up this undying control deck yourself uh let me know how it's how it's going for you and um you know any other comments you know about the new set or anything like that feel free to put them down in the comment section and of course if you want your deck played on stream it's just a ten dollar donation the donation link is down below uh you just send me your deck code or send me your deck idea that you want me to build and i'll play it. just uh, send me that and what day you want me to play it and i'll and I'll uh, play it on stream and put it up on YouTube. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Undying Combat, and I'll see you for the next video.